As you can tell by the tinted windows, not everybody gets a chance to go inside the team buses, but Trek Factor Racing have invited GCN inside for a sneaky look. Well, I'm on board the Trek Factory Racing team bus. Let's take a little look. Four leather seats, and of course, with Trek Factory Racing, as increasing with more teams, the driver actually doubles up as a soigneur as well. So, individual seats for all the riders. Now, we're on the Giro d'Italia this particular race. So, this is a Feline seat. This is Boy Van Poppel's. All the seats, of course, rotate round, so you can have a nice little family get-together, forward slash team meeting. They've got plug point, ubiquitous cup holder, of course. I'll move the Oakleys. And a little uh, plus, looks like the Liège, Baston Liège uh, rule book there. Of course, no space is left unused. Obviously, we've got all the helmets, aero helmets tucked away for all the different riders. So all the helmets, personalized, Van Poppel, Feline. Possibly the smallest shoes in the peloton but maybe one of the best climbers too. I wonder who they are. Ah, Mr. Aaron Dondo. Just above me here, HDMI screen projector. And obviously a screen will drop back down there. Full sound system as well. The riders can not only watch movies, etc., but they also can look at um, Google Maps, race profiles of all the finishes, etc. So the, ch the chairs can spin round and they can have team meetings. And the most important part of any team bus is the coffee machine. And I've got one on the go, especially. Perfecto. You lose just down here. We don't really need to film that, to be perfectly honest with you. I told you, no cameras in this part of the bus, all right. Can't a man spend a moment in peace? <laughs> Moving into the kitchenette area. So it's everything you need, basically. I love the little detailing here. Everything's really well thought out. All you need including an oven, fridge and freezer. So ice creams, Cornettos, all in there. So it's basically complete home from home for all the riders. And of course, especially in races with very, very long transfers, the riders spending three weeks away from home, this essentially, aside from the hotels, is where there's gonna be that close family atmosphere. So it's all about storage space. There's no space that's left Obviously this is for the Swan years primarily. Kettles, all different cooking implements in there. Beside me, we've got two showers, so double shower facilities, and even more storage space. All your towels and stuff. No taking towels from hotels, of course, folks. And again, full of food, and particularly in here for the Swan years, you've got all your preparation items, so you've got your tin foil for your cooking, baking, baking paper, etc. All your cereal bars, oh, I'm falling out there. So all your cereal bars, rice cakes, big favorite with a lot of the riders. And obviously all your, your long life milk. Again, everything you need for this one year. Yeah, that's an interesting one. But I think these riders do spend a long time in the saddle. The back into the, to the lounge area, of course. Again, full leather seats, flat screen TV, mood lighting, again, full leather, all the individual race bags, day bags, of course, all labelled up now, no expense spared at all, and yet more supplies here, and in this one, it's energy bars, energy gels, powders, everything you'll need, again, within nice, easy reach. No space is wasted at all. Again, lots of SIS stuff, even spare helmets ran right to the back. So it's about making use of all the space available. Cushions in there, bottles, and again, all your spare bead-ons. I do like these little buttons. In here, we have the baby wipes, etc., tissues, and even a hairdryer. And no, no, it's not, not for my hair on this occasion. This hairdryer was used, or one similar to it, uh, midway through Milan San Remo last year. And it is actually used in real life for drying off things like riders' shoes. I mean, that split stage was absolutely freezing cold. Riders were going to have to race again. Only had one pair of race shoes with them. So this was used to dry as quickly as possible riders' shoes. Fact. So we've had a look in the bus. 
let's have a look at some of the other features. The washer dryer, we're here in Ireland, the weather's pretty grim at the moment, so this is gonna get some serious use, absolutely vital. They have them on board all the buses now. Equally as important as getting your kit washed is getting it dried in time too. So they've got a dryer here and everything else, a lot more storage space. There's all your fold away chairs for the stage start when the weather's a bit more sunny. These Grand Tours, I tell you, they're really just knacker your legs. Mentally, physically, uh, you just need a nice comfortable place to go to. A place that's essentially home from home. And uh, the team bus, it has it all. It ticks every single box. I'll see you guys later. For more Giro content, click here. And to subscribe, click on me.